Hi everyone, I'm Yongji Wu. I'm a first year PhD student at Duke University. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Linear Time Stuff Attention with Code Word Histogram for Efficient Recommendation. This is a joint work by Duke University, U University of Science and Technology of China, and Alibaba Group. We all know that since the introduction of the scale dot product attention in Transformer, it has seen wide success in a variety of tasks like machine translation, object detection, or applications in bioinformatics. However, despite the impressive performance delivered by the self-attention's ability to identify complex dependencies between elements in the input sequence, self uh, it also suffers from quadratic computational and memory cost. This hinders the scalabilities of models built upon self-attention in many settings. As we can see in Valina self-attention, we had to compute a matrix multiplication between the queries and the keys. If the input sequence has error elements, then the result will be a matrix with error square elements. It also has a computational cost of error square. Hence, we can say it is in computational infeasible and memory infeasible to apply the Valina self-attention to long sequences. We observe that self-attention essentially composes a weighted average of the input sequences for each query, and the weights are computed based on the inner product between the query and the case. For each query, case with larger inner products will be given a larger weights. We observe we relate this phenomenon to the maximal inner product search, the MIPS problem. It has been well studied by researchers. Among them, vector quantization is a highly successful method. Uh, let's say we have 1000 points in a high dimensional space. Then in vector quantization, each point can be approximately represented by its corresponding cluster center. Uh, we call this class center as code words. So we can cluster these 1000 points into 10 clusters and each point can be represented by its cluster center. For instance, for instance, the four points in the yellow region of this figure can all be uh, represented by the red point Y5. In this way, we can not only compress the space needed to store all the 1000 points, we can also circumvent the redundant computation uh, of inner product computation. As we can see, the inner product between a given query to the points belong to the same code word, the same cluster center, or share the same inner product. The idea of vector quantization has also been applied to compress the atom embedding matrix and improve the memory and search e efficiency of recommendation system. Here we show mm, a state-of-art model in this category called LightRack. Light, in LightRack, uh, as we can see, a set of differentially learnable code words are used to encode the items. The set of the code books are shown by this uh, set of colored blocks, and they are end to end learned with the recommendation task. An item can then be approximately represented by a, an additive composition of the most similar code work within each book. Code book. Uh, as we can see in this example, we have four code books, and each book, each code book has four code words. Then for each item, uh, then I don't have to store each of the n item embed embedding vectors for each for all the n items. I only need to store the all the code book, all the code books, uh, all the code words. Uh, in this example, we have 16 code words. And for each item, I only need to store its cor corresponding code word index, in index in each code book. That is the most similar code word. 
the similarity can be computed based on inner product. Uh, in this way, we can greatly compress the storage costs for item embedding matrix. Let's first look at a simple case where a single codebook is used to encode items. In this case, an item is directly represented by the code word with a maximum relevance score to it. Uh, here, for the sake of simplicity, we omit the projection matrix at this moment. The Valinan self attention can be co can be computed in as um, the equation in the left. From this equation, we observe that we may have repeatedly composed the inner products of Q, the query Q with the same code work, say, um, C dash W. Since a number of items in the sequences may all share the same code word as their, their, their representations. Actually, this redundant computation significantly hampers the efficiency, especially when the sequence length is greater, is far greater than the set of unique, uh, uh, the number of unique code words that the air items um, correspond in the sequences. Mm. To address this issue, we note that. A V prime is just a weighted average of all the code words. That's a set of uh, the the items in the sequences correspond to, and the weight of each code word uh, depends only on the inner product with the query Q and uh, as well as the number of occurrence. Therefore, we only need to count how many times each code word is used in the sequences. And then we can compose the inner product between the query and this code word once. And we can then weight this inner product by its number of occurrence. We then we can then reformulate the computation of the equation on the left side to the right side. We can give a more concrete example in this figure. As we can see, we have a sequence of 12 elements. And in this figure, each element is represent, represented by the corresponding code, code word index, index. As we can see, in this uh, sequence, we only, have, we only use code word 0, 2, and 5. And their number of occurrence is 2, 6, and 4, respectively. Hence, we only to need to compute the inner product between the query with the three code words we used and the weight of each code word, uh, each code word that is in each inner product is then weighted by the number of occurrence, that is 2, 6, and 4, respectively. Now, let's go back to the case where multiple code books are used to compress the item embedding. In this case, each, element, each item in the input sequences is represented by an addictive composition of the code words in all code books. So unlike the single code book scenario, although in each code book many items may correspond to the same code word, their representations will diverge after the addictive composition. Hence, we still have to compose the inner product between the query and each every items in the input sequences. Mm, to tackle this problem, we propose to relax the attention operation. We can split the contention, perform the attention in each code book separately, and then take the sum. Uh, so the contention goes from the equation above to the equation below. Uh, we can consider this addictive compositional formulation as a, a sort of multi-head attention where each head attention head corresponds with a single code book. Uh, since different code book from di uh, form different latent space, this uh, reaction in fact aggregates information from different representational subspace of the items 
and using independent attention weights. Now, once again, we can reuse the inner product by computing the frequencies of each code book appeared in each sequ in the sequence, and of course, in each code book separately. However, we know that there is another problem emerged. That is, we the causality of the set of new code words used in different sequences are different. So, for batching purpose, we have to perform the tension over all code words, hence fix the contact size. We only need to compute a code word histogram of each input sequences. For code word that is not used by any item in the sequences, its current count would be zero, so this code word will not contribute to the weighted average. Previously, we only considered bidirectional attention mode, that is, each position can attend to any other position in the input sequences. However, uh, in, in terms of recommendation, we favor our unidirectional attention mode. This is not also not a problem. We can implement it via prefix sum. That is, we can compute the prefix sum of the code word histogram. An efficient algorithm exists for this problem with a computational comple complexity of O log A, o log L when computed in parallel. Now, we present the complete workflow of our proposed linear self-attention method in unidirectional attention mode. As we can see, for our input sequence, we have to compute the histogram for each code book at each position. Now, we also have an inner product table between all the code words, and we can use the inner product table together with the computed histogram to compute the attention score. The attention score is then used to compute the weighted average of the input sequences. We then perform a sum pooling over all of different um, code book to get the final result. We use real world data sets for recommendation to analyze the recommendation performance of our proposed uh, self attention method uh, compared with uh, Valina transformer and uh, some existing self-efficient attention baselines. As we can see, our method consistently outperforms all the existing uh, self-efficient uh, attention baselines in terms of recommendation performance. Uh, here we know that the bottom two lines, uh, Lisa Soft and Lisa Mini, are two variants of Lisa. One of them allows soft code word assignment, and the other uses a separate code word code book to encode the sequences. Uh, these two variants allow us to use much smaller code books, resulting in further efficiency improvements. And in terms of the inference speed, we can also say that our proposed method uh, also greatly outperforms a transformer as well as the uh, existing efficient self-attention baselines. Here D is donates the latent dimension of the input sequences. Moreover, we also evaluate the memory efficiency of different methods by measuring the peak GPU memory usage. We see that all the efficient attention baselines greatly reduce the memory consumption on longer sequences, among which our proposed method is the most efficient one. That would be all. Thank you for listening. You can find the source code of our proposed method in this QR code.